All right, you guys ready? Let's get it going. Okay, he's just going to introduce you real quick. Uh, Toby Greer used to be an MMA fighter, and now he has a gym that teaches jujitsu. Jujitsu, right? yeah. Yes. Um, he's produced a lot of UFC fighter, fighters over the years, and um, now you've done acting, right? Somewhat, yeah. 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 14 listings, and can we welcome Toby Greer, please? Hey, hey. All right, let me get everybody like kind of right here so I can talk at you. So screw over this way, real quick. Right here, this is good. You got a good little like good little little arc right here. Be good. All right, you guys ready? Cool. All right, let me see. Why don't you guys slide us slide over just like so see everybody's beautiful face? Cool. Yeah, you too. You too. All right. Cool. All right, right there. All right. So what's the theme of the day? Responsibility. All right. What's our skill we're talking about today? Practical skills, right? All right. Cool. Um, who here has been in a self-defense situation? Locker room, dirt, soccer game, wrestling match? Raise your hand. Nope, definitely me. All right, who in here? Put your put it really high, really high, really high. All right, cool. Who expects to be in a self-defense situation sometime in their life? All right, cool. All right, cool. How many athletes do we have here? Raise your hand. All right, cool. How many times on the field or in the locker room it's got a little bit heated and you wanted to be able to maybe hit somebody, right? Right, raise your hand. There you go. All right, cool. All right, so I'm here to teach you how not to hit somebody. You guys got that? Cool. All right, what's the one way to win a fight? One sure way to win a fight? <laughs> Avoid it. You hear me? So much bad stuff can happen when you get in a fight, whether it's suspension, whether it's breaking your hand during a game or after a game, not being able to play, not being able to perform. A lot of bad stuff can happen from a fight. How many wrestlers I got? Raise your hand super high. All right. All right, so these guys right here know, all right, before it comes down to punching, kicking, and elbowing, it's better to have the skills, the practical skill of controlling somebody. Does that make sense? So what we're going to do today is a little bit of self-defense. I got about a half hour, 25 minutes. We're going to work on some practical self-defense moves. That doesn't mean punch, kick, boost, stop the groin, all that stuff, all right? We're going to work on some basic grappling, some wrestling stuff. If someone comes into your personal space, how to basically slow them down, stop them down. And what's more important is controlling the situation. You guys got that? So today the practical skill is controlling a situation. We do that with breathing, being calm, and being ready for anything. All right? So here's what I need for you guys to do. I need you guys to pick a partner of equal or lesser value and find a spot right in here. Let's go. All right, circle up, circle up. So grab your partner so I can still see you. I've got the guy that All right, grab your partner. All right. Do you guys have a partner to hold their hand? No, I'm just kidding. Stop, stop, stop. Stand next to your partner. You guys got it? Who's, who doesn't have a partner? Raise your hand. All right. Who doesn't have a partner? All right, you guys, let's pretend for a second we're in a classroom. All right. No cell phones, no talking, right? In between, you guys can talk, laugh, but when I'm talking, let's just listen. We'll get through this really quick. All right, give me where's my wrestler at? Beautiful, come here. All right, cool. Get in your fight stance. All right, cool. That fight stance says what? I want to take you down, right? Now, in a self-defense situation, what do I want to say to my attacker? Stop. All right, first and foremost, I don't care where you're at. If I'm in a steel cage in MMA, what do I want to tell my opponent? Stop. Right? Look, just stop. That's really what I'm thinking. So, everybody get in your self-defense stance. It's not here. This said, let's trade punches. What's this say? Nope, right here. Go across to your partner and tell him stop with your body language. All right, good. Time. Time. All right. All right, perfect. Stop, stop. You guys got the point. All right, now get in here. All right, come here. All right, so we're going to talk about a few things that are going to work. We're going to go over real quick. Get in a regular stance, left foot forward. All right, so what's, who knows? Raise your hand. Don't say it. What's mano e mano mean? Raise your hand if you know. What is it? Who speaks Spanish? Nobody? I do. I don't speak Spanish. I'm subbing tomorrow, so I'll be there. But it's hand to hand. Uno a uno. So you guys think about any fight situation, any combat situation, self-defense situation. Where does it start? Right hands right here so put your hands out so we're normally going to grab hands we're going to grab the shirt something right so he's ready to do this all right he's down here probably going to get kneed or punched in the face we don't want to start there all right we want to start here 
All right. So right here, we come in here. What touches first? Hands. hands. All right. So we're hands. We're playing a little game of handsy. All right. Two of the greatest fighters in the world got together about eight years ago, and they call it locking horns, something you see in a movie. They locked up, and Daniel Cormier and John Jones stood here and did this in a full contact fight and a title fight in the UFC, and they just stood there. Does that make sense? It looks like something in a movie, but that's how you would engage somebody in a fight. We come here first, all right? So that's what we're going to work. We're going to work what we call Kung Fu move. Hua, all right? I say that because here's what we're going to work. We're going to work basically, somebody grabs you, how do you reverse the situation? Come here. First of all, we're going to come in. He's here. He's already aggressing me. I'm going to push his hands down, grab his wrists. What's he going to do? There. Beautiful. You guys see that? Let's do it again. We call it a kung fu move. I like to call it a kung fu move, all right? We're wrist pummeling. So if I grab him there, now he's got it. That makes sense? So now I'm going to go. Boom. Now we have an idea in Jiu-Judo. It's called uke and tori, all right? Uke and tori means one's the thrower. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Come in. Come in. Stand right here. No, I got him. Come in. Stand right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Right here. Right here. Just stand right there. Right here. You guys, now hold hands. That's it. Just stand there. Hold hands. That's it. Don't do anything else. All right. You guys got that? All right. So it's called right here. So we're going to pummel. One wrist. Go. He goes. But what's he doing? He's not thinking about me smacking him. Now he's thinking about practical skills. So right here, somebody grabs me. Maybe he wants to take me in the pool. Slow. Don't. He's pulling me this way. I'm going to grab his wrist and then I'm going to pull him this way. Super light, guys. We're going to go super light. That's going to be our first drill. When I say switch, we're going to switch hands. So practical. Just what we call wrist pummeling. When we're in a steel cage, hold on, come here real quick. We were not in a steel cage. When we're in a steel cage, and I got a guy up against the cage, knee, knee, or in a self-defense situation, what does he have to get back? This hand, first and foremost. And while he does that, what do I do? Ah! Oh! Split him like a coconut, all right? You guys see that? So that's why we want to be able to hand fight. He wants to hand fight down here. Yeah. See, he's not thinking about strikes. He's a great wrestler. All right, so that's what we want to think about right now. We're just going to go light. He goes. I go, all right? He goes. What we're going to do is, like, we're going to play a little bit. Like, oh, no, he's got me. He's got me. Then he goes. So don't do it right away like this, like this, all right? When I say switch wrists, we're going to switch wrists. Second thing we're going to do. We have three things we're going to do today. We're going to get two back escapes, too. Let's say he's standing at a bus stop. Face that way. He's texting, not paying attention to his surroundings. Someone comes up, grabs him here. Push right here, all right? What he wants to do, he wants to drop straight down, flail his arms, and he's going to go turn for a double leg setup. Got it? No, no, turn for it. Right into a double leg setup. So he's here texting. I'm going to come, grab him. He's going to drop straight down and right in. Bull hot. And he goes right in. Oh, so I knew you were going to do that. Jerk. <laughs> all right? Me and you are partnering. All right? You guys see that, though? But that's what you want. Somebody grabs you. That's the surprise we want to work on, practical skills, all right? In a real self-defense situation, we don't want a lot to happen. We want one, two, three things to happen. If we can win here, here I can get his back. If I know what to do when I get here, he goes through, go ahead, he drops, he's back in, not again, all right? Cool, all right? The last one we do, let's say he's got my back, I come up and I have what's called an over-under. Maybe I want to choke him, all right? Or maybe I have a weapon and I want to take him somewhere. Does that make sense? All right, don't do a throw yet. What I want you to do is we're going to go right here. And if I grab him here and I'm squeezing him, I want to take him somewhere. He's going to grab the rich. You got a 50-50 chance. Ah, he's getting choked out. All right, let's try again. Yes, he wants to grab the hand that's going to choke it, pushes out, and then gets out of there. Perfect, beautiful. That's the three things we're going to work on. Wrist pummeling. How to get out if somebody's got double overhooks and how to get out if somebody's got over-under. Right now with your partner, you're going to grab one wrist. He goes. And then we move. And I go. Let's get it going. All right, let's do it.